Today, I'm so inspired by all these beautiful native ingredients. These are ingredients that I want to incorporate into my Bangladeshi food and create a new type of cuisine. I'm making yeah. separate. I'm also making a bush tomato and kwandong chutney. Um, and I'd like to serve that with some chicken. Raylene is the auntie I really want in my life. <laughs> I feel really connected to what Raylene does to hold on to the culture through food and to really pass that down. In this moment, I have really found another piece of myself. I'm an Australian Bangladeshi. I was born here, I, I grew up here. So I want this plate of food to represent all of me. I need to cook my chicken. Now, it's a really windy day and there's so much ash flying up from that hibachi. The last thing I want to do is serve the judges ashy chicken. I've just made a little dirty smoker over here. I've taken one of the coals from the hibachi. I've put, the, I've put it in a little bowl and I'm going to finish it off on the fry pan so I still get that smoky flavour. I don't want anything to go wrong today. Yum, it looks good. Oh, Thank you. Make us some lunch. I've made enough for everybody. Yes, I can't later. cook a little bit, you know me. Hi. Wow. Wow. Kishwa, what have you cooked us? An Australian Bengali Hariali chicken, wattle seed naan, and a bush tomato and kwandong chutney. Beautiful. Sounds fantastic. You've got a one in four chance of going home today. How are you feeling about that? I feel really, really upset if I went home today. I would really miss you guys. <laughs> um, I've never used native ingredients in my food and if today I go home, I'll be so happy that I came on this journey on MasterChef and I came here and I got to come to the centre and just be here today in this moment and at least learn this because in that cookbook that I want to pass down to my children, yes, it is the cuisine of my parents who came here from Bangladesh, but also for me to incorporate what is Australian and to pass that down. Oh God, you're making, you're making <laughs> me all emotional. <laughs> it's true, how could you not be inspired by this? This is my biggest takeaway here, coming on to MasterChef, to be Australian as well. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's absolutely beautiful, Kishpa, and it's clear to me by your passion and, and your tears that today, you don't want to go home. So thank you, Kishu. I won't test you. Thank you. It's so, oh, hit me in the heart. Oh, my goodness. OK. She's really done all the ingredients justice and let them all stand out, but they all just seem to fit in on that plate. Mm. And it just really is, to me, a taste of a taste of the desert. Yeah, <laughs> I so love good it. To hear. I love it. This food is confidence. You look at the bread, it is buttery, it's flaky. The seeds lend a beautiful nuttiness. And then there's Heriali chicken, beautifully succulent, beautifully seasoned. And the whole plate of food just deserves to be here amongst all of this. I mean, how great is that? It was just a, a triumphant dish, I've got to say. The chutney was like a bejeweled jewellery box of chutney. <laughs> you have a mouthful of the flatbread with some of the chutney on top, some of the chicken with the smoke, and all of a sudden, bang! <laughs> all those three things... Get out of here. That one's going in the book, isn't it? <laughs> It's just all added up to a full-on celebration of Indigenous ingredients. 